Right, so welcome everyone to the day five of React.js workshop. Today, we're going to build a news app, also called an InShorts clone. So let's quickly uh, initialize our app by typing npx create React app. And I'm gonna name this InShorts clone. All right, so meanwhile, it's initializing. Let's check uh, check uh, what we're going to build today. So this is inshorts.com website. You can see there are short news over here. There's a title, there's a description, and there's a name of the writer, I mean, the author. And when you click on this little link over here, or little link over here, you just uh, it takes you to the source of the website where the original news lies. So this is what InShorts is all about. Also, if you want to uh, check different categories, let's say I want to go business, it's going to show you the business stories, all of the business stories, etc. Have a look later while we build this website. Okay, so our React app has initialized successfully. So let's discuss what we're going to, uh, how we're going to make this website. So today, in today's session, we're going to make this sidebar component. Actually, uh, and the API we're going to use is called News API. So let me tell you about this API. But first, let me just put a, a material UI to be uh, on. Let put the material UI on installation because it takes a lot of time to get installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type npm installed at material UI core and at material UI icons. So uh, let me show you where you can find that. You can go and type material UI on Google. And here you go. So what material UI is? Material UI is a React component library. Now, what is a React uh, component library? It provides you uh, some features which are, which are already built, built and built in this library. Let me show you. Let me click on get started. It's gonna show you how you can install. This is what I installed. And the other thing that I installed was material UI icons. So we're going to need uh, this later which I'll explain along the way. So let's see what uh, the the features that this library provides. For example, if you want to render a button, there's something called button over here. You just need to type this particular tag and here's, a, here's the button that's going to be rendered. You can uh, render it in blue color by typing button variant contain, uh, sorry, color primary. You can type it uh, color secondary and it's going to be rendered like this. So you see uh, these uh, component libraries provide us the components which are already beautified and looks pretty good and for making our work pretty faster. There are a lot of components over here. So uh, for this website, for this clone, we're going to need this sidebar component. Let's see. Here you go. There's a drawer component over here. We just need to copy this code into our code, uh, sorry, into uh, our project. And we can use this uh, particular component. For example, let me press left. It's gonna come out from the left. If I press right, it's gonna come out from the right. So there are different, different types of drawer over here. For example, this is temporary drawer. This is swipeable drawer. This is responsive draw, which is all, all uh, which is opened all the time when we uh, make the website smaller. When the, the screen is smaller, it's going to get shrinked. As a persistent drawer, which pushes all of the component to the right side from the left to right, and has the other persistent drawer which pushes it from uh, right to left. And this is a mini variant. When you click, it gets expanded. Otherwise, it shows these icons only. So yeah, there are ton of these drawers in material UI. So what we're going to use is this swipeable drawer. Now I'll explain that while creating how you can use this. Now let's come to our API. This is the news API. This is a free API uh, if you're using it for the development. But if you are using uh, it for production, you have to pay some particular fee. You can see here's a pricing. So we're going to use our developer plan but there's a flaw with the developer plan. It doesn't allow you to, uh, you know, host the website with Netlify, etc. But I was trying to host this website from past few days, and I saw that it only allows us to host with the 
Mozilla Firefox, it only works in Mozilla and right now it doesn't seem to work here as well. Let me try again. See, it doesn't work, but it's gonna work on your local host. Request aborted, something's wrong. See course error, I think somewhat, something like that. Let me just copy this link and paste it over here. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Just a sec. So uh, what do you need to do is you need to register on this website and you will get your own, uh, uh, your own key, your own API key. So you, you need to get your own API key. When you uh, successfully register, you need to click on here, your email address, and it will provide you with your own e uh, with your own key. So let's see if the material UI has successfully installed. Yes, it has installed. Uh, what? Yes, in shorts clone. Yeah, let, let me switch to the in shorts clone. Oh, I made a big mistake. I installed the material UI in this root folder. I was meant to install it inside of the in shorts clone folder. Let me just go quickly to the in shorts clone. Now let me install the material UI over here. Oops. Let me, let me bring that particular line. Yes. Let me install the material UI over here. It's going to take a little bit of time. So meanwhile, what we can do is we can just get rid of these files that we don't need as usual. Let's delete them. We're going to remove them from our code wherever they were being used and save these files. We're going to remove whole of this file. We don't need any of that. Let's print hello world and run our react app by typing npm start. So let's see what else we're going to use from this material UI library. We're going to use this container component. So what this com container component is all about. So the com container component helps us make our React app responsive. For example, you can see in this in shorts clone, when I make it responsive, uh, just a sec. If I'm taking it to the full screen, you can see it's uh, adopting to the side, not, not this particular div. I'm just talking about, just notice the spaces in the side. You can see how it's uh, gradually decreasing. So this is what this container component allows us to do. So now you, now you might be thinking there might be other component libraries as well. Yes, there is. One of them is React Bootstrap. Here it is. I use React Bootstrap all the time. It's really helpful. But I decided let's just use Material UI as well. Material UI is, uh, is based on the Material theme, which, which was uh, invented by Google. So yeah. Uh, let me bring this up, fail to compile. Okay, I think I forgot to remove this logo.svg. Let me do everything from here. Save this, save this. Shouldn't give error. I don't understand why is it giving error. Let's just wait. Let me bring the link. Where is it? Okay. Here you go. You can see this is how the API looks like. When we call the API, it's showing total results 8,992. And in each of this uh, array element, it's having a uh, title, description, URL to the source of this news, URL to the image and the published at time. This, this, these are all of the things that we need to create our app. 
let's see if it has initialized yet no it's taking a lot of time material ui is a huge package so it takes a lot of time to get installed I should have installed it before starting the meeting. My bad. So let's just discuss how our app is going to take its shape. So we're going to have the uh, these many components. First of all, the nav bar component. Second, this content component, nav content component. And this hamburger uh, menu is going to have an icon of itself imported from material UI icons. And this particular sidebar drawer, which I showed you in the documentation of material UI here. Where was it? There you go, this drawer. We just need to copy whole of this code inside our app okay finally it has finished installing let's try to npm start now hopefully it's gonna start now won't give any error Also, you see when we take this website a little, make this website a little bit smaller, you can see the message disappears from the top. We're also going to implement that feature while making our website responsive. Here we go. Let's just start by creating our components. Let me create the components folder. Here you see, hello world has been printed successfully. So let me create this components folder. The first component that we're going to create is uh, the nav bar. So let me just give it the name of nav. In short, to be unique, oops, it's, it's a file. You, you have to make sure that you don't uh, name any of your component with the name of that's already there. I mean, it's uh, that's already inside of the material UI. So we're going to create nav in shorts.js. And we're going to create a CSS file for it. Nav in shorts.css. All right, so what are we going to write inside of this nav in shorts? So we need to create a nav bar at the top. So let me remove this hello world first. All right, so let me just uh, bring our boilerplate code by typing R A F C E. There you go. Here it is. So what are we going to write inside of it? First of all, we need to have an icon over here. Let me just open in shorts as well. In shorts.com. We need to have this icon over here and this logo and this shadow as you can see over here, the box shadow. So let's see, for the icon, we're going to create a div. We're going to name it uh, let's say icon. Take, yeah, fine. And other than that, let me just give it a random something text icon. Okay. Other than that, we need an image of this in shorts logo. So 
So already I already have uh, this in shorts image. If you can, if you don't want, you can just right click and open image in the new tab and just copy this link and it'll provide you the image. Then we'll just put it in there. It haven't, it hasn't rendered yet. What's wrong? Oh, okay. Because we haven't imported the component over here. So let's just import the component nav in shorts. You can see because of VS Code's auto import feature, it has already, I mean, automatically imported that. All right, here we go. You can see the icon and the logo. The logo is huge, so I need to make it smaller. So let's give it, now first of all, let me just give it a height to this particular div. So I'm gonna give it a class name of nav. Let's import our CSS file as well. Oh, nav in shorts dot CSS. Okay. So we're going to give this nav a little bit of styling. What's wrong? Can't resolve no. Of course, dot slash nav in shorts dot CSS. I'm going to give this now a little bit of styling. Let's just give it a height of 71 pixels, a box shadow. I've uh, worked on, uh, I've calculated this box shadow earlier. So I'm just going to copy paste this value. You, you just need to work on box shadow and to find out the sweet spot wherever the nicest looking box shadow is the closest looking to this website. So I'll provide this box shadow. So this is the, I think this is the X alignment is the Y alignment. And this is the blur effect of the box shadow. You can just read more about it on Google. And I'm going to give this a display flex so that all of the items are in one row and align items to the center. All right, here we go. You can see, but this logo is huge. I need to make it smaller. So let me give it a height of 80%. Yeah, that looks better. Mm, okay. And let's just, let's just provide this an alt as well. And all right, some more styling. Let's just give a cursor pointer. So if we hover on it, it's gonna show a pointer. You see, now we need to throw it halfway in this nav bar. It, it should be in the half way of this nav bar. So you guys might remember, I explained you all something called flex property, flex one, where this icon push takes all of the space and pushes everything to the other side. So let's just give it the half of the value. So our icons is a uh, class name is this icon. So I'm gonna just give it a flex of 0.5. Yeah, there you go. It pushes it to the halfway across the screen. Let's just give it 0.48. I think that would be better. Yeah, it's better, not better. All right, now we need to create this hamburger icon, this thing, this particular thing. So now we need to go to material UI for that. All right, we need to find the drawer. Inside of components, there's something called drawer. And I would encourage you all to explore the material UI. It has ton of the components and then lots and lots of components over here. Today, you, uh, you all can explore this. So we'll gonna, we're gonna discuss about it tomorrow, even more. So yeah, we need this swipeable drawer component and we only need this left one. So let's just take all of this code first of all, just straight up copy this code and you need to paste it inside of your code. We're going to create a different component for that. New file, let's give it a name of hamburger icon.js. Uh, hamburger icon, oops, hamburger drawer. 
would be better drawer let's paste it over here save this file and we're going to import this inside our nav bar in in place of this icon let's import it ham bar wait mm. Car. it's not recommending me anything ham bar gar drawer okay i think we are going to have to manually import it let's just import it over here from dot slash hamburger drawer okay here we go it should work fine if i'm not wrong but there's a problem what what's wrong over here unexpected token let me just check um everything looks fine let's see inside of this okay i need to reload this i think it has been yeah fine so you see it has imported all this left right top bottom buttons but we only need the left button so we're just going to go inside the hamburger drawer and now this is the part where you need to read the code and understand where the things are happening see first of all we need to see where are these buttons getting rendered from here top left bottom all we need is left so we're going to remove all of these three and below in the return you can see it is mapping the buttons so we just need uh, we just need the left so we're just going to remove this map function from here let's remove it from here and all of these and now first of all yeah you can see the anchor is getting rendered like uh, the left value will be inside of this anchor and it's going to render at these places so let's just replace all of these places with the left except this i think this uh, should be over here we're going to replace is like that left and these as well left here we go i think only left should appear now all right cool you see and now we don't want this left te text over here so what we're going to do is we're going to use material ui icons so let's see where are the icons at let's just search over here hamburger oh there you go material icons all of the icons you will ever need are going to be over here hamburger here we go we just need this icon so we're going to copy this import material icon from material ui icon slash menu oops should be docked to the side yeah hmm. so we're going to import it over here here we go we need this menu icon right so inside of the button over here inside instead of left we're going to rendered our menu uh menu icon here we go should work fine there you go works like magic our menu icon has successfully rendered and created this menu for us let's see what else we need we need this dark theme over here so there's something called theme changer in material ui you can search it up let's search theme dark theme also guys i need to i need to restart the meeting because the 40 minute mark of zoom is about to hit so i'm going to restart the meeting in 2 minutes um okay so you see this is how you can create a theme inside of material ui i've already created a theme in material ui so i'm just going to import that a dark mode theme if you go through this documentation you're going to find a dark mode theme as well so i'm going to import that dark mode theme over here this is the code prefers dark mode code 
and no you don't need to re uh, remember all of these code because these all are just for copy pasting from straight from the material ui library so you just need to copy and paste this code so what are the uh, components that we need inside of this this use media query so i'm going to go and press ctrl space and press enter so it's going to be imported this use memo now that's going to be imported and this create mi mui theme and press enter now you can see all of these three have been imported over here okay one of them is not imported yet i guess okay it is yeah it is imported now how do we make this a dark theme we need to wrap around this some with something called theme provider in material ui so after importing th uh, those styles you need to go in uh, outside your swipeable drawer and uh, import this theme provider this tag and you need to push this swipeable drawer inside of this save this and now you need to provide the theme that you just imported theme equals the theme that we brought in let me show you see this is the variable the theme variable we just provided it with the theme variable now see the magic let me reload yeah here we go our drawer has successfully been provided the dark mode also let me just quickly restart this meeting everyone do are you using json parser yes no coder i'm using json parser all right i'm going to restart this coding everyone quick uh, this meeting uh, everyone quickly join 